You guys did it. You finally peer pressured me into using OpenBSD, at least for web servers that I'm trying to build and deploy web apps to, which I don't actually think was your intention. I'm pretty sure those of you who have been asking me to talk about OpenBSD for a while uh, meant talking about it within a desktop context, uh, but I'm probably going to save desktop BSD usage for when I go down the rabbit hole of Libre ThinkPads. Uh, and even then, I seriously doubt that I'm going to end up really using it as a daily driver, but we'll talk about that later. Um, for web apps, I'm going to try to start using OpenBSD whenever possible. In fact, this is one of the VPSs that I'm using OpenBSD on right here. Uh, let's do a NeoFetch because I installed it just for this video. Yes, I know it's stupid to install something like NeoFetch on a web server, but look, it's open fishy. Yeah, OpenBSD 6.9, isn't it super cool? Now let's get into the meat of this video, why I'm choosing to use OpenBSD, and it's pretty much all about security. So whenever you build a web app, that is something that people are actually going to be interacting with uh, on the internet. So I'm not talking about something like a simple HTML blog where you put up some text with some pictures and you know maybe different articles linked to one another for people to look at there really isn't any way for someone to interact with that, right? So there's a much lower risk for someone being able to break your website uh, if it's just a simple HTML blog. If it's WordPress, then you know one of your plugins will probably get hacked. Um, but something that's interactive, it greatly expands the attack surface, right? Even something as simple as, like let's say you were gonna build your own forum uh, where people can put their own text onto the site. You have to make sure that that text doesn't get interpreted as code and then run by your server. Or if they can upload pictures, you gotta make sure that it's actually a picture and have a way to handle someone trying to upload a shell script with a JPEG extension besides uh, just you know having your server actually try and run the code that is in there when it tries to display the image. Now, that particular problem of uh, not running random code that people type in a text box is kind of OS agnostic. Uh, you know, it's handled at a higher level when we're talking about uh, the web development, but you understand what I'm saying. A web application that thousands or more people are going to be interacting with on a daily basis, and many of them actually trying to break it, needs to be as ironclad as possible. And I think that at the operating uh, system level, OpenBSD fits that bill for a few, few reasons. Um, so first of all, let's just look at the CVEs of Linux compared to OpenBSD, right? We've got 280 uh, vulnerabilities on CVE details for OpenBSD, and we have 724 for Linux, so it has almost three times as many. And a lot of them are more severe, like you know, if we take a look at what's going on here. Uh, and they have also been in the kernel for much longer. I mean, it's basically a meme at this point for the Linux kernel to have a five-year-old or even a 10-year-old vulnerability. Uh, and all it really takes to introduce new ones into the kernel apparently is a couple of InfoSec students from the University of Minnesota to do malicious commits. Uh, now, maybe you can argue that the vast differences in exploits um, between OpenBSD and Linux have more to do with Linux just being more popular, but I would disagree. So BSD variants, they have managed to avoid some serious problems that Linux distros have faced uh, due to design differences. So Heartbleed, for example, that wasn't a problem on BSD because they uh, were using LibreSSL um, and not OpenSSL. Like if we bring up uh, the terminal here, right? OpenSSL version. LibreSSL 3.3.2 is what uh, OpenBSD is using. And on Linux, uh, LibreSSL isn't even really a thing anymore. There used to be, uh, I guess you still technically could do this, but there used to be um, a way to uh, basically rip out OpenSSL and replace uh, LibreSSL on Gentoo, uh, there also used to be certain distros like, uh, what was it called, Void Linux, that actually used to ship with LibreSSL, but it hasn't for, I think, maybe a year at this point. Another example would be like vulnerabilities in the sudo command, because sudo is not a thing on OpenBSD. They use do as uh, instead of sudo, which is uh, just a much uh, saner way to uh, handle that. 
Then there's also some fundamental differences in design, like the fact that OpenBSD is made by one team of people, uh, and Linux, you know, we all know the copy pasta, right? What you're referring to as Linux is in fact GNU slash Linux, or as I've started calling it, GNU plus Linux. So Linux is just the kernel. It can't really do much on its own uh, without a set of core utils, which is where GNU comes into place. Uh, and this fundamental split in who is uh, developing Linux and who is developing GNU might not be the best practice for an operating system. Uh, also, if I'm not mistaken, the code base, like the lines of code that go into making the Linux kernel is much larger, I think in fact, than um, both the core utils and the kernel of OpenBSD combined. But I might not be, I'm not 100% sure about that because uh, I haven't tried building OpenBSD uh, from source and really trying to compare the code bases. Um, but assuming that's true, the minimal code base is another one of those things that you really want to look for in an operating system, um, especially now where later versions of Linux are very rapidly moving away from that paradigm. Like the kernel is getting more and more bloated uh, as the version number increases. Uh, so OpenBSD is great. But like I said, I'm probably not going to install it, at least not on this desktop that I'm using uh, now, because I'm very skeptical about how good using OpenBSD as a daily driver will be for me. Because there is a lot of software uh, that either doesn't work on OpenBSD or works differently or just isn't available. Um, even simple uh, Linux uh, core commands like uh, nproc, right? That doesn't exist on OpenBSD. LSBLK doesn't exist uh, on OpenBSD. And the shell commands that are the same, like um, grep, for example, they usually don't have uh, as many switches or options to use with them because the GNU version of the core utilities adds a lot of additional options that you won't see in BSD versions. This is something you're probably familiar with if you've dealt with um, using GNU versus BusyBox, for example. Um, so yeah, another another big thing, like actual piece of software um, that you might uh, interact with more directly is Steam. Uh, so Steam doesn't work as far as I know on uh, OpenBSD. So trying to play games that require Steam, which is most of them, isn't going to be a thing on OpenBSD. And I know, oh, cringe, gaming is cringe. Oh well, I like recreational gaming. Uh, Linux supporting it has been really huge for its market share and some random on the internet just isn't gonna change that. Uh, I also don't think that the added security of OpenBSD versus Linux is really going to matter much for a desktop user um, because I'm not going to be serving applications uh, from my computer, like my desktop, uh, to thousands of people all over the world. Most people aren't even going to figure out what my IP address is uh, to try and connect in the first place. And even if they do, it's just gonna change. Um, plus, I think the real security move for desktops uh, unless you're a corelet, is to use virtual machines uh, because multi-core CPUs are a thing and they have been for a long time. Even modern laptops have eight cores, 16 threads in them. And if you wanna be uber super secure, it probably makes more sense to run an operating system like Cubes OS and then OpenBSD or some kind of hardened Linux as one of the virtual machines. And then you have all your applications containerized and all that good stuff. Uh, unless we're gonna go full schizo and get super paranoid about things like the Intel management engine and AMD's, uh, what is it called? Platform security processor. Um, so now, if you're gonna go full schizo, you gotta do it correctly. Tinfoil goes on the head and over the windows. If you're going to avoid those chips, then you should also be Libre booting your machine so that you don't have to worry about a backdoored BIOS. And while you're doing that and taking your ThinkPad apart, you should examine it very, very closely to verify that there are no additional chips soldered onto the board that might be used to spy on you because that is a thing uh, that can and has been done. So again, if you're going to actually get to that level of tinfoil hattery and not just do it as a LARP, then you should probably be getting to Lewis Rossman levels of knowledge about the chips that are on your ThinkPad. Uh, but like I said, uh, that's a LARP that I might 
actually do when I start getting into old ThinkPads. Um, if I was able to fight with getting uh, stuff working on an exotic Gen 2 config, I'm sure that I could uh, fight with OpenBSD uh, and get most of the software that I'm using working on there. Plus, if I'm gonna be using a used ThinkPad, I probably won't really do much gaming uh, on them anyway, because as far as I know, all the Libre bootable ThinkPads uh, don't even support um, graphics cards for them or you know anything besides the integrated graphics. But for a server, the limited software compatibility on OpenBSD isn't such a big deal because you aren't going to be running a whole lot of software on a server anyway, um, just whatever is necessary to get your particular web app working. Um, it's not a good idea from a security standpoint to have extra software and that leads to application sprawl. Um, it should only be allowed to do what you need it to do and I also don't update the software on servers as often as my desktop, especially not a server that's in production. Um, so pretty much once you get it working, it's good to go. Uh, so yeah, OpenBSD, it might just be the uh, best choice for web servers. Change my mind.